So my one of my good friends, uh, Colton, gave me this uh, body hammer. I figured I'd kind of do a little restoration on it. There's no handle. And I had this in the bottom of my toolbox. It's been in there forever. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's cracked really bad. So it needs to be oiled and cleaned up and whatever. See all the cracks? So this isn't a like a hammer restoration or whatever you want to call it video. Um, this is just a down and dirty. I want to use the hammer, so I'm gonna put a handle on it kind of video. So I like the style of this. I really like how it's got this bend in it right here. So I think doing body work that'd really help out. I need to dull dull this a little bit and then polish this up, but I probably won't do that today. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that I need to do today, so. I figured I'd hurry up and bomb this out and get it done. And uh, after that, I'll get out of here. the wedge out of there. Yeah. So this handle's not fitting too good. I mean, it, it almost fits in there, but not enough. So I'll go ahead and take you guys over to the belt sander. We'll get it sanded down to, to the shape it needs. Wear safety glasses, don't be a dumbass. didn't take much and it fits in there so we'll go ahead and go with that there you all this crap taken off too this sticker stuff we'll do that with a razor blade sorry about the shaky camera this place is a wreck right now Thirty six grit. So that took care of all that shellac and all that sticky crap that was on there from the sticker. And it's uh, kind of sanded out some of those bad cracks that were on here. <clears throat>
as Joe Jewett would say, that's good enough. He loves that saying. <laughs> What's up, Joe? If you guys haven't wa watched our other channel, go check it out, NZ Mopar on YouTube. Go over there and sub him up. Uh, we're trying to get him to a thousand subs right now. I appreciate you guys subbing my channel also. If you haven't hit the subscription button, please hit the button and uh, hit that bell for notifications. <clears throat> There's another cool channel out there. The guy's name is Dave and it's uh, Scott Rods. Go check his channel out. He's got a cool car that he's building right now. It's pretty nice. And things coming together super fast. Man, I don't know if this handle is even going to be good enough. This might be a temporary handle. Let me look at these cracks, how bad these things are. So I'm going to just oil this thing after I'm done. So. <clears throat> now I need a hammer to fix my hammer. Huh. Anybody got a hammer? This can be kind of loud. Make a nice little body hammer. I like the shorter handle on it too. It has a nice feel to it. Hell yeah. <clears throat> now I got a hacksaw. I'm gonna cut the rest of this leftover off off the top of the hammer handle. Now it sits flush, I'll, I can go ahead and put this, uh, what you call it in there? The wedgie, the wedgie. Usually I put a, usually I'll put a wooden wedge in and then I'll do a metal wedge, but this kit with this handle, all it had was a metal wedge, and this is such a small diameter on this handle for this handle, or for this hammer, it's a, uh, you know, a metal wedge should be all right, it should last. And I usually soak my hammers in antifreeze. And if you soak your hammers in antifreeze and they swell up and whatever, and you're done soaking your hammers in antifreeze, Put the antifreeze away so your dogs and cats and kids don't get to it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit this on the belt grinder a little bit. A belt sander. Man, this freaking tripod's all crooked as hell today. Good. Nice little body hammer right there. So I'm gonna do my usual. I'm gonna burn the handle probably and uh, clean it up and oil it and all that good stuff. So I might do that right now. <clears throat> Actually, I wanna spin you guys this way. Sorry about making you dizzy there.
still a little bit of shellac on there, burning off. But I like how this, the way it has these cracks and stuff in here, it's showing the uh, grain in the wood a lot, which is pretty cool looking. Be a nice little hammer when it's done. Flip this guy over. Now you can't even tell. <clears throat> I always forget to burn the top, so. And really, this is just for looks i guess but a lot of people say that when you're doing like blacksmithing and stuff and you do this to your hammers i guess it's supposed to keep your hands from getting blistered or some crap i don't know if that's true or not it might be just myth so now i'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and i'll sand it and then i'll uh put some boiled linseed oil on it and make sure when you guys are using boiled linseed oil, do not throw the rags in the garbage. They will catch on fire. It does not need anything to catch on fire with. So just hang them over the garbage can or hang them over something, let them dry overnight, and then the next day you can throw the rags away. Man, this thing is all crooked. But uh, the boiled linseed oil, for some reason, it'll, it'll combust without anything. So you got to be real careful when you're using that stuff. So this is boiled linseed oil, and you can see how long, like I've had this can for years and years and years. Like, it's just forever old. And there's still like this much in it right now, so. Stuff lasts a long time, it doesn't take much. So we'll go ahead and get this handle sanded down where I like it. Sorry about the shaky camera. <clears throat> And all I'm doing is knocking the fuzz off, really. Kind of knocking the charred, burnt wood off of it, off the handle. Oh, that's some sweet. <clears throat> Take a rag. And I'm going to use gloves for this. You see, I don't have much on there. It doesn't take much. Let it soak into the rag a little bit. And then, uh, it'll make this handle look beautiful. It should be pretty. And the boiled linseed oil, it's actually really good for the metal on the hammer too. So I do the hammer head. Check that out. Now I'll be proud to put that in my uh, hammer collection. If you guys have any old hammers you want restored, send them my way. I'll keep them. <laughs> Anyways, thanks, Colton. Appreciate the hammer, bro. I like it. Sweet-ass body hammer. And uh, let me put this camera up. I, I appreciate all the support on the channel and uh, all the uh, subs and all the nice comments and stuff. Some of you guys leave some rude comments. You can all kiss my ass. I got no problem saying that either. And those people that do that, they get deleted, and then they, get, uh, they leave another rude comment. 
And what happens is they get blocked. I got no problem blocking your ass. I don't put up with that crap. So anyways, to all my people that have supported us all this time with the YouTube channel and everything, I really appreciate the support. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching all, watching all the videos and all the nice comments and everything. Please go check out our other channel, NZ Mopar, the noisy plick. It's NZ Mopar on YouTube. Tell him hi, sub his channel, help him get to a thousand subs. Anyways, thanks for watching. Later.